Hi, I'm Shannon Thomas. I'm a licensed professional counselor and on staff at Woodlands Church, I oversee our prayer and care team. And with me is Dr. Paul Looney, who is a Christian psychiatrist and he is also on Woodlands Church staff. So we are just going to give you some tips today on dealing with this coronavirus. So Dr. Paul, what do we have? Thank you, Shannon. Um, yeah, we, like all of you, are struggling to keep our heads above water, to, to keep it in a good place mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And so we just want to offer a few tips for you. We're going to go through a list of them, and Shannon and I will kind of go back and forth discussing the various ones. In brief, they are get up, be still, get moving, and drink your fill. Stay on track, take control, reach out, and share your soul. Then look for good, create space, ask for help, and show grace. So the first one is get up. Shannon, will you take that? Sure, so get up. That means get yourself out of bed, get yourself showered, get dressed, <laughs> brush your teeth, comb your hair, put some makeup on, get ready. Like you are going out of your house just as you would any other day to work or to school. So just getting yourself ready can really boost your mood for the day. Terrific. Yes. Yeah, so once you get up, another thing you need to do is to be still. What does that mean? That means we all need quiet. We all need a time to connect with our own souls and with, with God. Um, having a quiet time every day where you do a little meditation or Bible reading, where you pray and get still realizing that God is God and that if we seek him and his kingdom first, everything else will go better. So get up and be still. Next, get moving. Shannon. Yes, get moving. So that means like, let's get out and exercise, whether that is going for a walk for about 30 minutes a day or finding a YouTube exercise video or just throw on some music and dance around. The movement we know exercise helps um, release those endorphins in our brain, which lifts our spirits. It also reduces our stress levels. So make sure you're getting, you're getting out there 30 minutes a day to get your body moving. Mm-hmm. Next, drink your fill. This means that you needed to exercise self-care throughout the day. Stay hydrated. Make sure that you're taking care of your body and taking care of your soul as well. Make sure you're putting good things in physically, but also uh, putting good things into your soul. Have some, uh, some time to read or to, um, to have some uh, time to do something that nourishes your soul, whether it be painting or drawing or or um, something else that's creative in giving, filling you up. Next, stay on track. This has to do with being um, on a schedule. Um, we all need uh, some structure to be able to, to orient our, ourselves throughout the day. I love having an appointment book because it helps me to be mindful of what's coming next. It also keeps me from squandering too much time doing unnecessary activities. So having a schedule, having some routines um, for yourself and for your family, whether it's doing some homeschooling or having regular meal times, try to stay on track with a schedule. Again, in addition to that, you can take control. Shannon. Take control. So this means find something that you do have control over. Right now, everything outside our front door seems like it's out of control and things are very chaotic. And so if you're able to just control something in your little corner of the world, then that can help calm you down. What does that look like? So that means maybe tackle that closet that you needed to reorganize clean out the pantry or tackle that project that you've been wanting to do for a long time, repainting something or, uh, you know, restaining a piece of furniture. So just take control of something that you do have control over because right now there's a lot that's out of our control. I love that. Also, Jen, talk about what it means to reach out. 
reach out. So that means you want to stay connected. <laughs> you want to stay connected to your family, to your friends, to your coworkers. And right now we have to be physically isolated, but it's also important for us to remain in contact with those people that are important to us. So that means FaceTiming or Skyping. Um, also, don't forget your kids are missing their friends too. So set up a virtual play date for them so that they can keep in contact with their friends as well. Totally agree with that. In addition to reaching out, you want to do something to share your soul. And by this, I mean you want to be able to be generous with others, to share something meaningful. And it could be sharing a, uh, sharing a meal with a neighbor. If you've cooked extra, take some to your neighbor's house if they're not too afraid to, to uh, meet you at the front door. Um, be willing to do something to make a difference for others. Um, make a face mask for someone. Um, reach out to someone who is isolated by, uh, uh, by sending them a letter or a card. We know that the happiest people on the planet are people who serve and try to find some way to serve either someone in your home or someone outside your home. Um, we, my wife and I do prison ministry. We've been able to take hygiene items to a couple of prisons um, because they can't receive visitors right now. And many of the volunteer activities are shut down. So do something to share yourself, share your soul with others. Next, look for good. We know that it's easy to look for bad in these terrible times. You are bombarded with bad news. People who are sick and dying, um, economic collapse and tragedy. So you need to look for good. You need to deliberately find something positive to set your attention on. The Bible tells us to set our minds on things above not on things of the earth. So look for good. Look for something you can praise in the people around you. Look for something good in yourself and look for something good in the world that you can thank God for. After looking for good, you also want to create space. What's that look like, Shannon? So when you create space, that is what you want to do for yourself and for your kids. So when you're feeling overwhelmed just from the, the stress, you're trying to do work, you're trying to do homeschool, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're doing everything right now. Um, it's important for you to have a place where you can retreat to. So whether that's your back porch or you know somewhere out in the front yard just somewhere where you can get away and with kids you can create a space where they have like a pillow and a blanket and maybe make it into a fort so when they're feeling overwhelmed they have a place that they can go as well i love that and what about also telling about asking for help, Shannon? So important right now. If you already have a therapist or a psychiatrist that you're working with, please stay in contact with them. Please stay, keep taking your medications. Um, most doctors and therapists right now are doing online telemedicine or teletherapy. So, so important to keep that connection going. If you've never uh, experienced uh, seeing a counselor or talking to a doctor, um, a psychiatrist in particular, um, and, and you feel like you're overwhelmed, now is the time to reach out. There is so much help out there and you don't need to be alone uh, through this. And so I just encourage you to not, don't be afraid during this time. You don't have to be alone. Reach out and ask for help. I love that, Shannon. The final thing we have for you is to sh show grace. It is so important for you to be kind to yourself and to others, especially in difficult times. Everyone is likely to get short-tempered and get cabin fever, to be anxious and irritable. So important to be compassionate to yourself and to others. Self-compassion is the, the basis for how we treat those closest to us. And so if you're in a habit of beating yourself up, this is a time to break that habit, to be compassionate toward yourself and show compassion and grace to those around you. No matter what we do, if it doesn't flow from love, it is not going to produce the kind of result that we ultimately wish for. So open your heart to let God pour a little love in there and show grace to those around. We're so glad you tuned in today. Um, we hope that as you try to navigate this uh, coronavirus virus pandemic, that you will every day Make it your aim to get up, to be still, to get moving and drink your fill, to stay on track, to take control, to reach out and share your soul, and to look for good, creating space, asking for help, and showing grace. 
Thanks for joining us today. We hope that this has been helpful, and we are praying for you along with our pastors at Woodlands Church that God will give you grace and help every day to navigate this in a way that not only does it take you under, but it helps you actually move into, into places that are better than you experienced before this terrible time. So God bless your day, and we'll uh, see you at another time. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us.